larger rear doors. In fact, they're massive rear doors for easier entry and egress, getting in and out. Yeah, Mercedes top of the line S Class for Europe was built with two different wheelbases, a short and a long wheelbase. America got only the long wheelbase version. What's really distinctive about this generation of the S Class, this one shows 89,000 miles on the clock. This was one of the very first cars to have a glass panel. All of the instrumentation is digital. Uh, it's it's analog on a screen. There are not individual gauges. Uh, this one, nicely optioned, beautiful beige leather, uh, seats that adjust in about 27 different ways. But I really, we had one of these, and I think the greatest feature was that glass panel dash. It's a very, very sharp, and boy, these are great long-distance cruisers, huge trunk, huge back seat, very luxurious car. If we can come around and have a look at that dash while it's all lit up here, uh, these are more, it's more commonplace in cars today. But when this generation of the S-Class came out, this dash was groundbreaking. This is powered by a V8, while the SL had a prominently displayed dual exhaust system. It says dual pipes, but they're very subtly tucked under the rear balance. Not any attention made to them. The two pipes coming out, but again, this one wasn't really about performance. But later on, I think Mercedes would discover that anything they built with a V engine would have dual exhaust because it's status. This was nearly $100,000 new, so $6,500. Wow.